I'm going to share my top tips when making a livery. If you find it helpful, like and subscribe. All right. So the first thing you want to do is obviously pick your car. I've chosen this one because it's there's a lot of things I can show you on this car. So the first thing you want to do <coughs> is you want to pick your colour according to your sponsor. All right. So you don't want to pick in a colour straight up and then find out that it's completely different to what your sponsor is. So find your main sponsor first. So I'm going to go to Falcon. All right. So make delivery nice and big on half of the car. And then go to your paint. Paint all. Alright, so you'll notice that you can't really find the exact same colour blue in the Falcon livery. So you go to your colour picker, go, it's kind of a bluey green, so you go to the greenest side of the blue. Alright, and then just zoom in, and then just try and find that sweet spot. So that's, that's pretty close. So actually it's probably a little bit greener than that, so we'll go back up here, go closer to the green, have a bit of a look, look at that. So we picked that colour, alright, so that's basically where you start, you got your main colour, I'm just using Falcon as, a, as an example, I'm not actually going to make a Falcon car, I was just showing you. So I'm going to get rid of that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you <coughs> how to do a back wrap and make it stretch around the outside. So I like to stick, I like to stick my flag on the back of my car, just makes it nice. Alright, so as you can see, it hasn't gone all the way around, and then if you see right under the right under the left tail light there's like a white patch so you go into your projection area set your angle limit right up and it fills it in and then what you want to do is you want to have that wrapping all the way around you use your depth to go just past halfway and then when you duplicate it on the other side it colors the whole thing in and then we can even do uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start I'm gonna go red on on my paint So I'm going to go back to paint. So my main, my main sponsor is going to be uh, Sparco in red. So I'll go with red. I've already picked one. See now because the flag has obviously got red in it, it sort of bleeds into the rest of the body. So what I'm going to do is pick that layer, duplicate it, and then pick the one underneath, change it black, and then slide it left a little bit so it creates like a line, makes it cleaner. Alright, so yeah, so what I mean before is you want to set your projection, so turn the angle up so it fills in all the gaps, go past halfway, done. <coughs> and then, say you want to use this car. Say you want to use this car in an online race, right? Uh, but you want to show off your livery skills. So when you do an online race, it'll slap a door number on the side of your car, and then it'll basically slap the door number straight over your livery or your main sponsor. So what I like to do is go into racing items, chuck a door number on the car, so you know where it's going to put it. And then you can do your livery around that. That way it doesn't affect it. Uh, so then what I'll do is I'll go, so I want to do, I want to do a colour underneath all that. Go on a decal. Nope. Add a layer. I'm going to add this one in. Alright, so I want to put, put my livery on a white section. But now it's over the top of my flag, so you hit triangle. Go down to move layer and move it underneath and then you can duplicate it again turn it black 
So I didn't duplicate it. Duplicate there. And then you want the top one to be white. And then you shrink it a little bit. So that it has an outline. Try and outline everything on your car. Just makes it stand out more. So <coughs> you notice that the car's looking very red. You need some sort of contrast. You can go to other. So this car's got a lot of panels, like a lot of extra sections that you can't colour in normally. So you click on a shape, make it as big as possible, see how it fills in all these little extra bits, makes it look nice. So I might change them to black. But then if you notice on the front here, the grill, the silver grill, it's half of it's missing. So that's another spot where you'd use your angle, turn it all the way up. Use your depth to go past halfway, so that when you duplicate it to the other side, it colours the whole thing. It just makes it look a little bit more nice. So with your main sponsor, I'm going to pick, uh, just for example, just going to pick Sparko. Make it red. Oh, hang on a second, I'm still in other, so go back to body. Make it red. Make it nice and big. Alright, and then what I want to do is I want to have a black outline underneath that. So I'm going to duplicate that layer. And then go and pick the one underneath. Change that black. And then I'm going to slide up and left. So you slide up a little bit, and then left a little bit. You want to put you want to put that livery at uh, that decal four times underneath the original. So you duplicate it, then go right a little bit. Duplicate again, go down a little bit. Duplicate again, and go left back to where you started. So it all joins up, and then that makes it pop, makes it look better. All right, say you want to put your name on the window, uh, but you've only got this font. This font looks pretty crap, but you can, if you can get it nice, nice and straight, it looks all right. So I'm going to go me uh, my favorite number, but not on the body, obviously. It's in other. And then, to do your actual lettering, what you first want to do is you want to pick a, a line, just a straight line like this, change it to a different colour, like a nice bright colour, stretch it out, and then hold L1 and push down, make it thin, right, and stick it at the top of where you want your lettering, and then duplicate it, and go down, just like that, and then you stick all your letters in that. So you zoom in a bit and make it so that they're almost touching, like that. Helps if you zoom in. Obviously before you start making 
making your livery you want to go into search for all the decals that you're going to need because if you can't find what you want in the like the ones that are already on here you have to save the livery and then go back in and then come back to it it just takes forever so you want to go go into search and just search for everything you want on it to begin with before you even start old mate like that and then you can get rid of your green lines and it looks straight when you zoom out I know this font's pretty crap so what I've done I just put my own name on it it's not that hard um, you can upload upload your own decals or you can just ask me nicely and I might do it for you See, that way you get a nice font, it's all straight. Sim Racing, Pit Lane Sim Racing is my Facebook community. Jump on there, get in our livery competitions, get into our photo comps, we're do, doing series races soon it's a good idea to always favourite the ones you use quite often because once you start saving a couple of hundred liveries it takes forever to load them up and you'll be scrolling for days uh, what's the other one? so then you copy everything to the other side right so you say you're happy with all that you go down to the bottom layer duplicate on reverse and then you go up one do it again duplicate on reverse go up one now this one because it's not symmetrical you gotta go flip and duplicate same with the flag duplicate and flip same with these duplicate uh, so you don't want to flip this because then it will make the lettering the other way. So just want to go duplicate reverse, go up one, duplicate reverse. Just do this all the way up the list. And you don't have to try and sit there and adjust the placement for 10 days. Okay, just keep going up the list, duplicate. like so so then what well, the next the next most annoying thing or the most requested video I get is how do you put stuff on the underwing there's two ways to do it there's a good way and a, sh and a shit way the shit way but still doable click on rear wing add click on the top and then go to projection method align with camera and then turn the camera around as if you were chasing the car you can line that center line up with the aerial on the roof or something right down the middle of the car. Aim it as, down, as low as you possibly can. Then select the decal. Select the decal you want to pick. I'll go pit lanes in racing, turn it white. So that's one way of doing it. So that's not too bad. Alright, but it bleeds through. So you have to adjust the projection area. So turn the angle down. See, so it's not bleeding through anymore. So you can do it that way, which is the easy way. But if your wing isn't angled that far and it's just flat, you'll have a hard time getting it on there properly. So the other way, and the easy, or the better way to do it, is you stick it on the top first. make it a bit wider, a little bit taller alright and then set projection area so you go underneath so you can watch it change the angle all the way up and then what you have to do is flip horizontally if it's words and then sort of just move it up a little bit like that so that there goes further under 
But then what you have to do is you have to make another piece to cover that. And this is why it's tricky. Uh, if you're picking those special colours um, that you buy from the, the shop, it's hard to get the colour right for this kind of thing. So usually I just make the wing black and then it doesn't matter. So that's a, now you've covered. So now I've covered that. So now what I've got to do is go up a layer, and I can put something else over top. Ta da! Oh, and also on the wing, on the end plates, the end plates will always bleed through to the top. So what you want to do? Let's go. Let's just go the Aussie flag for now. See how it always bleeds through? So you have to change the angle. You have to turn it down. You don't have to turn down it that far, but you just have to remember to do it before you duplicate to reverse, otherwise you'll have to then go back in to do it to both. Like that. So then, another thing I always do, on this car especially, always try and pick decals that have got an outline, because it saves you time. So I've got some saved that I use, on, use a lot. So these have got an outline. Oh, hang on. Let's go other, and let's go to our black. As we only went halfway with this. So now it goes all the way around. There we go. Like so. So that's a half half decent livery. I'm not finished obviously and then more sponsors all over it and etc etc but that's a half decent livery so we covered the door number if you're not racing online and you, you want to put your own number somewhere else and you want your, your main sponsor to be bigger that's fine but I always you know, I usually make my liveries with the door number in mind because I do like I do like to race online and then I always put put my Facebook and my, um, my socials on the sides as well but yeah, this is a pretty good car because you can you can put stuff on the back window as well and on the side windows. So you put all the like the TV sponsors on the side windows, makes it look profesh. Uh, I think that's it. I think we covered everything. So yeah, cheers for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you found it helpful. Check out uh, if you add me on uh, add me on PSN. Like you can check out my uh, all my gallery. Just uh, repost any that you take for me. Appreciate that. And cheers for that. Happy racing. See you on the track.